objective witness in any case. Uh, Tim, I'm curious to get your thoughts on the way the defense team has brought up the decision by special counsel Robert Hur to not press charges against President Biden for his handling of classified documents. They're trying to argue that the legal system is biased, that there's a, a two-tiered system of, of law. Her himself, though, in his findings, outlined the significant differences between these two cases. Do you think it's a good idea to draw attention to something that doesn't necessarily make your client look good? You know, I think a lot of that depends on how they draw it, because there, are, there certainly are distinctions. And one of those distinctions is the DOJ approached uh, Joseph Bi Joe Biden at a time that Mar-a-Lago had already been raided. And that, I think that that's a fact that's kind of getting lost here is if I'm representing Joe Biden and this is going on, I'm going to advise him, hey, we need to make a big show of how different we are than Donald Trump. And so I think a lot of the, you know, the, the theater of Joe Biden being cooperative is largely informed by trying to create an impression of being different from Donald Trump. Uh, but ultimately, if you do look at those two cases, the huge difference is not in how they reacted once they were approached by DOJ, but rather how the documents got out of the White House, got out of the Senate, and how they were stored, and what was done with them. You know, Joe Biden, according to that report, was sharing things uh, with people, with a biographer, um, and giving people access to them in a way that goes well beyond what is alleged of Donald Trump. So I do think that you could take portions of that to show a disparity, even though Robert Hur, you know, did draw distinctions in the manner in which they responded to DOJ when approached. You might make the argument that Biden was counseled a certain way. I, I don't know that we necessarily have evidence for that, but hers findings are, are hers findings, uh, and, and I don't know how sure. that's going to play out in, in court necessarily. Were you going to say something? It's, it's worth raising the argument. I mean, it's, it's one of those arguments, you know, much like the Presidential Records Act, that any competent lawyer would at a minimum raise the argument and, you know, to see if there's something, you know, that can be raised from it. Uh, whether it's successful or not, we'll see. Uh, Tim Parlatori, appreciate the time.